Uh, dear students, I am Sunil Punya from Punya System Classes. Today uh, we shall discuss uh, uh, regarding to the our uh, content uh, chemical reaction and equations the chapter number first regarding to the CBSE syllabus and CRT curriculum. In chemical reaction and equations we have uh, uh, studied about the reactant and products. Reactants are the substances who react each other and products are the substances newly formed substances are called product. Now uh, we have already said the successive steps of chemical equation. Equations means say the two steps or two terms say when are to be equalized then that type of system is called equation. Then suppose that two substances A and B react each other then A plus B will be equal to the newly formed substances C plus D those are to be called a newly formed substances product. In successive steps of chemical equations the word equation, skeletal or chemical equation and balanced chemical equations are the steps of regarding to the a chemical equation like as magnesium plus oxygen magnesium oxide is a word equation mg plus o2 is equal to mgo is a skeletal or chemical equation 2 mg plus o2 is equal to 2 mgo a balanced equation then we discussed in our previous uh, chapters or lessons uh, step of balance for a chemical equation how to balance a chemical equation there are some steps the step number one to draw boxes around each formula then means uh, each formula should be uh, encircled by a box then step number two list the number of atoms of different element present in unbalanced equation and write the number of atoms uh, below the particular element or atom then after step number third uh, uh, means uh, to balance uh, to or to start balancing with the compound that contains a maximum number of atom it may be reactant or product means uh, highest number containing element should be balanced first of all then next step step number four pick up the second elements and uh, further the same process or proceed further and step number uh, fifth uh, means uh, pick up the third elements or which is not balanced and balanced to it by the above process then step number six to check the correctness and balance equation means we should check that uh, in both sides the number of elements should be equal the balancing system of such a uh, methods uh, is called heat and trial methods and after num the step number six the step number seven say uh, we should write the physical state so that the chemical equation will be more informative and finally balanced equation we will put and next further we are starting stay, uh, steps for balancing a chemical equation when oxygen and uh, hydrogens are to be attached to a particular element then again we, we repeating the steps for balancing equation to draw boxes around each formula step number two list the number of atoms of different elements present in the unbalanced equation Step number third, to start balancing with the compound that contains the maximum number of atoms, it may be reactant or product. Pick up the second element to proceed further. Step number fifth, pick up the third element which is not balanced and balanced is. Then we may put the step number further regarding to the fourth element or fifth element and so on. And the last last step last first step is step number six to check the correctness of the balanced equation and step number seven say to write the symbol of physical state regarding to the that equation for to make chemical equation more informative now the abu method is called a heat and a trial method now how to be how we balance a chemical equation such that for example say equation is given then there will be second uh, or uh, um, other methods for balancing the equation then step number first write down the correct formula of reactant and product in in the abu cases here in propane c3h8 named a propane plus o2 uh, c equation c3h8 plus o2 is equal to c2 plus h2o now we are balancing this equation then applying the step number first write down the correct formula of reactant and product we have already written or the formula is already given 
then here propane and oxygen are reactant c3h8 is called propane and o2 is oxygen and carbon dioxide and uh, carbon dioxide and water are products now reaction is to be written as in this form c3h8 plus o2 is equal to co2 plus h2o put the step number second balance the number of carbon first highest accept h and o now this type of uh, balancing equation uh, we not mention the hydrogen and oxygen and accept hydrogen and oxygen we will balance the uh, atoms uh, remaining since three carbon atoms are in reactant therefore three co2 molecules are required on right hand side uh, see in equation c3 h8 plus o2 is equal to 3 put the coefficient before co2 3 so that in both side number of carbon atom will be remain same then step number third balance the number of hydrogen second highest now hydrogen will be balanced on the left hand side there are eight hydrogen see c3 h eight then it means on the left hand side there are eight hydrogen and on the right hand side there are two hydrogen so that however each molecule of water has two hydrogen atom water molecules contains a two hydrogen atom then we should uh, fulfill the number of atom at which is in right hand side the, uh, sorry left hand side h at then we put a, a coefficient before h2o so that number of hydrogen will be at 4 the 4 to the 8 then hydrogen atoms so four molecules of water will be required for at hydrogen atom on the right hand side then see the equation c3 h at plus o2 is equal to 3 co2 in uh, first step we have uh, balanced and uh, 4 h2o now in this equation in this step the 4 is a coefficient that uh, is a balancing the hydrogen atom in both side then step number fourth balance the number of o atoms third highest now in the above equation third highest atom is a oxygen then there are 10 oxygen atoms uh, on right hand side then means uh, 3 into 2 is equal to 6 in CO2 and 4 into 1 is equal to 4 in O2 in water. Means, uh, please see again, 3 into 6 is equal to 6. 3 into 6 uh, is equal to 6 in CO2. Means, uh, CO2 number of oxygen 3 into 2. Then that will be equal to 6. And 4 into 1 is equal to 4. 4 into 1 in H2O. 4 into 1 is equal to 4 then 6 plus 4 is equal to 10 now in side of reactant we put a coefficient with oxygen that should be equal to 10 then 5 should be multiplied by 2 we get 10 then coefficient uh, uh, 5 will be put uh, before the oxygen molecule step number 5th uh, verify the number of atoms of each element is balanced in the final equation then in equation see carefully number of carbon atom 1 into 3 number of hydrogen atom 1 into 8 number of oxygen atom 5 into 10 number of carbon atom 3 into 1 number of oxygen atom 3 into 2 number of hydrogen atom 4 into 2 and number of oxygen atom 4 into 1 now calculating both 3 carbon 3 in a and left hand side and in right hand side there is carbon 3 hydrogen at in left hand side and in right hand side there is number of hydrogen is at and the uh, number of oxygen is 10 in both side then uh, means uh, 3 co2 the 6 uh, number of carbon oxygen uh, number of uh, oxygen uh, atoms is 6 and in uh, 4h2 number of oxygen atom is 4 adding both the 6 plus 4 is equal to 10 then 10 will be equal to 10 means number of oxygen will be a uh, same in both sides then next step is step number 6 to write the physical state because or so that the chemical equation will be more informative means uh, we will get more information about the uh, equations uh, means uh, c3 h at in a gaseous state right g oxygen is also in gaseous state then we should write g carbon dioxide is also in gaseous state and water is in liquid state then now the complete uh, uh, balanced reaction will be c3 h at in gaseous state plus 5O2 in gaseous state is equal to 3CO2 in gaseous state plus 4H2O is liquid state. Now, 
write the steps for balance a chemical equation having h and o write the steps for balance a chemical equation having h and o now we are uh, revising the abu steps uh, again then which steps should be required uh, in such case in which oxygen and hydrogen are present write down the correct formulas of reactant and product then number 2 balance the number of carbon atom first highest accept h and o step number 3 balance the number hydrogen atoms second highest and balance the number of oxygen atom third highest and verify that the number of atoms of each element is balanced in the final equation and lastly step number last or the step number 6 to write the physical state eh, so that the chemical equation will be more in informative some questions are to be putted here means eh, uh, in our previous eh, lessons or previous content eh, i want to ask some questions and eh, explain again those questions eh, or the basic or fundamental concepts eh, write the steps for balance a chemical equation a general question for a genius students the uh, steps should be remembered always step number first to draw boxes around each formula step number two list the number of atoms of different element present in the unbalanced equation and put them below the particular element step number third to start balancing with the compound that contains the maximum number of atoms that atoms may be in reactant or product this is logic or this statement does not affect the balance balancing of the equations step number 4 is saying that pick up the second highest pick up the third highest pick up the fourth highest and so on means it means the number of atoms will be 3 4 5 6 may be then we uh, further uh, further proceed such equations and last last first equation to check the correctness of the balanced equation means we are we should sure that in both sides the number of each elements is equal means uh, we have satisfied here that a uh, equation is balanced and last step to make the chemical equation more informative physical state should be right always so that uh, we should uh, understand about the state of that a uh, chemical equations and write the steps for balancing a chemical equation having h and o then it is the other method for the balancing the equation in this uh, method uh, the same uh, some little difference with some little difference same steps are included here uh, accept hydrogen and oxygen the uh, first highest will be balanced first then but first start we step number first write down the correct formulas of reactant and product number 1 number 2 accept hydrogen and uh, oxygen balance the remaining atom then number step number third balance the number hydro of hydrogen atoms that is second highest balance the number of oxygen atom that is third highest then step number next further fifth verify that the number of atoms say, of each element is balanced in the final equation and step number 6 there to write the physical state of that equation to make the chemical equation more informative then next question how many types of chemical reactions then chemical reactions say, are many types but here we are discussing some special types or some important types number 1 combination reaction you are saying that the number 2 decomposition reaction number 3 displacement reaction number 4 double displacement reaction and number 5 oxidation and reduction reaction now we explain or we will discuss on the first chemical reaction named a combination reaction in form of question give a reaction of combination means a if we write a combination reaction then we will understand about the uh, combination reactions combination reactions uh, in combination reactions combine means uh, to add up for example a plus b means uh, mixing up or to add up then for example a substance or a molecule calcium oxide we have a name quick line react with the water molecule h2o 
then both will be added because the reaction is combined because the reaction is uh, having the type to add up means both molecule will uh, attach to each other then caoh hole twice will be formed and a new name of that substance is select lime select lime or caoh will react in a carbon dioxide then a or, or two substances will be formed and CaCO3 plus H2O CoCO3 is called a limestone and the chemical name of the substance calcium carbonate here you see that a CaO is a calcium oxide but the behavioral name is a quick line CaOH whole twice is called calcium hydroxide but behavioral name is select line and CaCO3 is the calcium carbonate but behavioral name of a such compound is a limestone then aqueous means you ha you are seeing that caoh aqueous it means coh is dissolved into the water means coh is present and water is also present because some cao adding with water and remain remaining is water present there so that a such type of substance is to be written as caoh whole twice in bracket aqueous means dissolved in water next further in form of question give the formula of quick lime select lime and limestone you are seeing that in abu equation cao is the formula of quick lime cao whole twice is the formula of select lime caco3 is the formula of a limestone now discussing we are about the uh, addition reactions or the reactions which are adding up synthetic reactions are those reactions in which elemental form take part means two substances a and b when a is element and b is also element then such type of reaction is called synthetic reaction here we are we are seeing that a magnesium and oxygen are adding up so that reaction should be combined reaction but uh, this reaction is called synthetic means formation of new compound by the element therefore synthetic reactions are combination reaction this reaction will be combination but uh, always all combination reactions uh, all remaining combination reactions are not synthetic because those are not in elemental form abu mg plus o2 is equal to mgo here reacting substances are in elemental form that, uh, as you are seeing that written in small bracket mg element o2 element but sometimes say uh, molecules react each other and newly substance is formed that is combination reaction and mg plus o2 is equal to mgo is also a combination reaction but uh, mg plus o2 is equal to mgo is a synthetic reaction also it means all synthetic reactions are combination reaction but all combination reaction are not a synthetic reaction for example or in form of question give a synthetic reaction as already we discussed here that mg plus o2 is equal to mgo is a synthetic reaction can you tell me how can you tell me how it is synthetic reaction because in the synthesis of mgo elemental form are adding up give a combination reaction cao plus h2o is equal to cao h whole twice is a combination reaction can you tell me why it is not a synthetic reaction because cao calcium oxide is not a element it is a molecule because the different type of atoms are present in this ca a separate element o is different element and both have already combined and a new molecule is formed that is cao so that it is not a synthetic reaction but it is combination reaction next question all synthetic reactions are combination reactions but all combination reactions are not synthetic reaction explain it synthetic reactions are those reaction in which elemental form take part for example mg plus o2 is equal to mgo therefore 
सिंथेटिक रिएक्शन आर कम्बिनेशन रिएक्शन ऑलवेज बट ऑल कम्बिनेशन रिएक्शन फॉर एग्जाम्पल कैल्शियम ऑक्साइड प्लस एच टू इज इक्वल टू सी एच होल ट्वाइस आर नोट सिंथेटिक नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन गिव ए रिएक्शन ऑफ डी कंपोजिशन यू हैव ऑलरेडी नोन दैट डी कंपोजिशन द वर्ड इज मेड बाई टू वर्ड डी प्लस कंपोजिशन मीन्स कंपोजिट टू डिसोसिएट और ब्रेक डाउन डी कंपोज मीन्स डिसोसिएट और ब्रेक डाउन मीन्स वेन ए लार्ज मोलिक्यूल डिसोसिएट इन टू स्मॉल मोलिक्यूल और टू और मोर देन टू डिफरेंट मोलिक्यूल सच टाइप ऑफ रिएक्शन इज कॉल्ड डी कंपोजिशन रिएक्शन फॉर एग्जाम्पल एफ ई एस ओ फोर हियर द बैलेंस इक्वेशन इज गिवन एफ ई एस ओ फोर इज हीटेड मीन्स ए ट्राइंगल इज टू बी रिप्रेजेंटेड हियर ऑन द एरोसाइन ट्राइंगल मीन्स एफ ई एस ओ फोर द फिजिकल स्टेट ऑफ दिस सबस्टांस इज सॉलिड स्टेट दैट इज टू बी हीटेड एंड कन्वर्ट इन टू द एफ ई टू ओ थ्री सॉलिड स्टेट एसओ टू गैसियस स्टेट एंड एसओ थ्री इज ऑल्सो गैसियस स्टेट देन एफ ई एस ओ फोर इज कॉल्ड फेरस सल्फेट बिकॉज एफ ई एस ओ फोर द कम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू टाइप ऑफ वेलेंसी एफ ई प्लस टू एस ओ फोर माइनस टू द बोथ वेलेंसीज आर कैंसिल्ड देन फेरस द रस आर यू एस रस रस इज सोइंग द टू वेलेंसी बट रिक एफ ई टू ओ थ्री हियर वेलेंसी ऑफ ऑक्सीजन टू दैट पुटेड बिलो द एफ ई एंड ऑक्सीजन वेलेंसी ऑफ एफ ई इज थ्री दैट पुटेड बिलो द ऑक्सीजन देन एफ ई टू ओ थ्री मीन्स थ्री वेलेंसी ऑफ आयरन देन हैविंग द थ्री वेलेंसी ऑफ आयरन आइन इज कॉल्ड इन फॉर्म रिक देन नाउ वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एज अबू द अबू रिएक्शन वाज कंपोजिशन रिएक्शन दिस रिएक्शन इज डीकम्पोजिशन रिएक्शन then composition reaction is adding up reaction decompose reaction is a breakdown reaction in composition reaction there will be a, a separate types of reaction that synthetic reaction there should be breakdown reaction here elemental form breakdown in elemental form is called analytical reaction means analytical reactions are those reaction in which elemental form produces for example in abu case mgo is a compound That dissociate or that breakdown means uh, the type of reaction is uh, decomposition. MgOs will uh, convert or will divide into the mag magnesium, elemental form. Oxygen is also elemental form. Elemental form means same type of atom. Therefore, analytical reactions are decomposition reaction always. All type of analytical reactions will be always decomposition reaction, but all decomposition reactions are not analytical. Say below, two FeSO4 will convert into in this one are not analytical reaction. Can you tell me why this reaction is not analytical? Here you are seeing that a Fe2O3 is a substance that is not in elemental form it is in molecular form so2 is also in molecular form so3 also is molecular form so that uh, total uh, reactions having in product molecule there should not be a, a, a single molecule in the product then that decomposition reaction will called analytical if a single molecule is present there then that reaction will not called analytical that reaction will called a decomposition reaction for example or in form of question give or write a analytical reaction to mgo mg plus o2 is the analytical reaction decomposition reaction in which the produced or the newly formed substance should not be element or should not be in elemental form okay then next question me All analytical reactions are decomposition reaction, but all decomposition reactions are not analytical reaction. Explain it. Then we can explain by the Abu equations that uh, given in Abu two equations. Analytical reactions are those reactions in which elemental form produces, for example, two Mg O is equal to Mg plus O2. Therefore, analytical reactions are decomposition reaction always. But all decomposition reactions, for example, two FeSO4 in solid state heated, then newly substances are to be formed. Fe2O3 in solid state plus SO2 in gaseous state plus SO2 in gaseous state 
are not relevant. Next, in form of question, uh, a question give the name of FeSO4 and Fe2O3. Here, the name of FeSO4 ferrous sulfate. The name of Fe2O3 ferric oxide. Ferrous sulfate and ferric oxide respectively name the ABU elements. How we put the name of the ABU elements? FeSO4 will dissociate in two ions. Fe plus 2 plus SO4 minus 2. Here, Fe plus 2 means two electrons uh, removal from Fe. F SO4 minus 2 means sulfate have taken two electrons from Fe. Then there are two separate ions. Then the first F, Fe plus 2 is called ferrous and it is sulfate SO4 minus 2. Then uh, combination of both words ferrous sulfate. Fe2O3, Fe plus 3 ion means uh, three electrons have removed from the Fe atom and uh, O minus 2 means uh, two atoms uh, are accepted uh, by the oxygen means three atoms Fe2O3 means uh, there will be uh, uh, receiving elements is uh, Fe2 oxygen Fe2O3 Fe plus 3 ion is called ferric ion and it is oxide ion having the valency minus 2 O minus 2 then the newly substance substance is uh, ferric oxide because the ion is cancelled ferric oxide now next question give a displacement reaction displacement uh, reaction the uh, as you know that displacement what do you mean by displacement means a uh, change in place displacement then to change the place then for example the reaction fe plus cuso4 when iron will uh, react with the uh, copper sulfate then uh, sulfate attached with the copper remove from the copper sulfate and add with the Fe then newly substance will FeSO4 and Cu here CuSO4 having the blue color in the solution the solution of the CuSO4 is having a blue color but when the SO4 will, uh, will uh, break down from CuSO4 then Cu will be remain in elemental form and SO4 will be formed the color of SO4 is brownish so that in the solution blue color will change into the brownish color slowly means sulfate sulfate ion will remove uh, slowly then the newly substance will form slowly due to change the place of SO4 minus 2 uh, ions and the change in the color so the displacement reaction next the color of CuSO4 and FeSO4 uh, color of CuSO4 in the ABU reactions of sulfates uh, solutions uh, contains the blue color and S FeSO4 solution contains the brownish color. Now next give a double displacement reaction. Here be I want to recall to you that uh, we are studying the types of reaction or types of chemical reaction are uh, the type number one the combination reaction type number 2 decomposition reaction type number 3 displacement reaction type number 4 double displacement reaction in double displacement reactions there will be mutual replacement of the two ions from the separate two molecules double displacement to change the place mutually in two pairs for example Na2SO4 in aqueous solution means Na2SO4 is dissolved into the water. BaCl2 is dissolved into the water. So we will put aqueous in bracket after the molecules formula. Now newly substance is BaSO4 in aqueous form means that is dissolved also in water and NaCl already dissolved in water. Then BaSO4 contains the white precipitate means BaSO4 will not dissolve, dissolve into the water that will be settled down on the bottom of the port or the bottom of the reactant port then mutual change of ions white precipitate of BSO4 how we find that there is a, a mutual uh, placement or mutual interaction or mutual replacement SO4 have removed from Na2SO4 and Cl2 have removed from BaCl2 
and BaSO4 is a newly formed that is a in form of precipitate means that is a like a white powder and will settle down into the bottom of the uh, chemical pot it means BaSO4 is a newly substance that is a taken the ion from the first element and NaCl which is dissolved into the water then mutual change of ion and white precipitate of BaSO4 so the double displacement reaction and NaCl dissolved into the water now dear students we are uh, stopping our uh, content or lesson इससे पहले मैं आपको ये बता दूँ कि हमारी रूटेन की दिनचर्या में हम आपको कौन कौन से लेसन प्लान देने वाले हैं कौन कौन से पीरियड में आपको पढ़ाने वाले हैं ट्वेल्थ क्लास टें से लेकर के इट मीन से ट्वेल्थ इलेवेंथ टेंथ नाइन्थ एट्थ सेवन्थ सिक्स और फिफ्थ टोटल सी बी एस ई सलेबस होगा और ट्वेल्थ इलेवेंथ टेंथ नाइन्थ एट्थ सेवन्थ सिक्स और फिफ्थ टोटल ऑल स्टेट बोर्ड का सलेबस होगा जिसमें साइंस मैथ इंग्लिश फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री बायोलॉजी मैथमेटिक्स इंग्लिश ऑल सब्जेक्ट्स इंक्लूड किए जाएंगे ऑल सब्जेक्ट्स के हर चैप्टर होंगे तो इसके लिए मैं आपको थोड़ा सजेस्ट करूंगा, आपसे रिक्वेस्ट भी करूंगा, सबसे पहले आप इसको सब्सक्राइब कीजिए सबसे पहले प्लीज सब्सक्राइब कीजिए यस हाँ कीजिए सब्सक्राइब कीजिए नंबर वन नंबर टू ये बेल आइकॉन जो दिख रहा है इसको भी आप दबाइए वी आर नॉट डिस्कसिंग वी आर वी आर डूइंग योर हेल्प वी आर डूइंग योर हेल्प अंडरस्टैंड आप इसको दबाइए बेल आइकॉन को यस yes. ये अभी लेसन आपके पास परमानेंट आएंगे आप जब भी देख सकते हैं और हमारे लिए बिकॉज हम आपके टीचर हैं आपके मन में हमेशा हमारे प्रति जो रेस्पेक्ट रहेगा तो उस रेस्पेक्ट का थोड़ा सा आप उसको पे कीजिए पे द रेस्पेक्ट मीन्स इसको शेयर कीजिए बिल्कुल इसको शेयर कीजिए और शेयर करने के बाद में हमारे नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स बढ़ेंगे उससे क्या होगा हमारे में मोटिवेशनल एनर्जी पैदा होगी और मोटिवेशनल एनर्जी जो है वो अभी जिस कैपेसिटी से हम काम कर रहे हैं क्योंकि हमारा वीडियो अभी स्टार्ट हुआ है और अब जब वीडियो स्टार्टिंग हुआ है तो हमारे नंबर ऑफ फॉलोअर्स जो है वो बहुत तेज गति से बढ़ रहे हैं बहुत फास्ट मोमेंट देन नंबर ऑफ फॉलोअर्स की संख्या जितनी ज़्यादा बढ़ेगी हम उतने अग्रेसिव होंगे और उतने ही इमोशनली प्रिपेयर्ड होंगे देन uh, आप हमारे लिए हमेशा फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जब भी आप हमारे लेसन लेते हैं जब भी कोई नया स्टूडेंट लेता है जब आप जिसको मोटिवेट करते हो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल उसको क्या करना है सब्सक्राइब करना है उसकी बेल आइकोन को दबाना है हमारे मोबाइल नंबर एट